Hello and welcome back to a foreigner and family in the Philippines. And I'm back here at the pineapple farm uh, working on the corn planting. And this is on the, the one side of the property with the two hills. And we have got the area looking pretty plowed here. Up on this side, this hill is plowed. And this is the other hill over here. And that one is being plowed. It's got some area down below that can also get plowed as well because I'd like to plant as much corn as we can over here since this is the only, well, this side and the other side are the only areas that we can work on right now until Del Monte exits the property. And I haven't been down, I haven't taken a shot of it from this view. It is nice. Uh, those are the, the jackfruit trees up there that I've shown a couple of times. And we have, there's a bunch of, there's little coffee trees and little, uh, some mahogany trees that are throughout the area there. And I think we probably plowed over some of those, but we've also left some of those. I don't know if that shows up on the video, but left some of those. And I might move those in different areas later on. But for now, we left them. And this whole area is about, if I had to, if I'm guessing, it's just under one hectare of land. And one hectare is 2.5 acres. And it took basically five carabao days to plow all of this. Which means, what I'm saying is there, we had one day with one carabao. And then two days with two carabao. To get that cleared and that was 500 pesos per day which is about ten dollars us and so then we'll come back something needs we need to come through here and get these weeds out too and i would like to get my own carabao because then you can just pay a worker 300 pesos to plow for the day instead of 500 pesos. You've got your own care about, and you can use the care about for many other things, uh, for moving things on the farm, for the for a cart, or um, plowing, but mainly the moving, moving some other things around too. Like uh, here I got 70 sacks of chicken dung, and we put 50 of them. 50 of the sacks are right here, and 20 of the sacks we took over to the rubber farm. But no sacks are heavy. They're about uh, 60 kilos each of chicken dung. And so then we've got to move those sacks from where I was able to take them with the truck over to the rubber farm. And I can't take the truck out there. So we had to pay a uh, care about 10 pesos per sack just to get those out, which is another 200 pesos just to transfer the, the chicken dung. And if you've got your own care about, you just you can load them up on the on the cart and take them out there. So that's another reason I'm looking at, I'm interested in having my own carabao. It's just, we haven't been able to quite get it squared away with still getting Del Monte squared away. Well, and it looks like we have. August 31st, they're supposed to be finished. And then I'll be able to build a little house there and do the things I need to get done with getting the water set up and the electricity and all that. I know I keep carrying on about that, but that's been a big stopper for us. But anyway, these, you've got the 50 sacks of chicken dung here, and that's, we'll put that on the cornfield when we go to apply, when we go to plant the corn. And then, we'll, then after that, we'll use the fertilizer but to start it off we use the chicken dung and also yesterday besides the chicken dung the 70 sacks of chicken dung we were supposed to receive orders for both fences for the pineapple fence and the rubber fence from uh, and two orders from two different companies for that and both of them have they both this 
been postponing for days, so we didn't receive either of those. But the good news is that they said they're both going to deliver on Monday, so that'll be good, which is fine. We're kind of focused on getting this corn in the ground, so then we can go back to the fences. And I'm over here checking out that the corn planting still, and I just, these two carabao are over here chilling out in the mud. So I just wanted to get a shot of these guys. So they do their work over there on the field and they get hot and they get tired, but they like to come over here and chill out afterwards. And it's kind of funny, too, because they were over there working, and then they, they didn't even uh, have to be brought over here. They just, the the operators just let them go. And they, they, they run right over here and hop in the mud to chill out for a little bit. And that's it for now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to, we want to hit a, a hundred subscribers. That's our goal. Help us make it. I'm trying.